With a burst of color and dancing figures, Grove Hall's business center made a splash yesterday as a showcase for public art. Spread across the wall of a laundromat, the mural called No Strings Detached was produced by Paul Goodnight and Larry Pierce. They work together in a mentoring program for artists supported by the city, Greater Grove Hall Main Streets, and the nonprofit Now and There. When you put a mural up on a wall or to public art, you have to realize that that is for the neighborhood that it lives in. And if it's not effective in that neighborhood, they'll destroy it or pay no attention to it and that kind of stuff. So you know that you have to be able to, content, to, to continually think that the, um, the art, public art, is for the public and mostly for the neighborhood that in which it lives in. But the permanent exhibits in your museums tend to not have as many uh, black artists. And so what we've had to do is, while you're still trying to get more art into the collection, the permanent collection, is we've had to work to try to find new ways to get art shown. So things like this mural, things like the utility boxes, we have a couple new projects we're going to do to kind of do the bus shelters and things like that. So those are our new ways of trying to get uh, give African-American artists the opportunity to ex exhibit their art. I think a community that respects art and incorporates it into the community fabric is one that well is really connected to the creative people in their community, that has more community resilience, more networks, um, and is one that can really appreciate its own heritage, who's there, you know, who are the different communities, whether that's immigrants, different populations, youth, all of that comes through arts and culture. The mural is the first in a series being produced by pairs of artists with the goal of creative growth through mentoring. Mentoring uh, is very important in uh, art as in well in other fields because it allows generations to interact with each other and to pass on knowledge. And uh, I'm fortunate enough to have had that happen with me and Paul Goodnight.